Hi there, today we're going to take a quick look at RF Link hardware and software. For those of you unfamiliar with this, the RF Link hardware is a circuit board with a transceiver, which you can read all about in the link, which plugs into an Arduino Mega2560 and then sends serial data from various devices out through the serial port. The first step then is to head over to the Nodo shop and pick up the little board. They do a complete package with the uh, at Mega or you can just pick up a cheap Chinese one. Uh, you basically want this board. Um, uh, you be, need to be familiar with a bit of soldering. Uh, it takes five minutes to put the board together and you also need an antenna. The antenna that's the one I picked. You could use a piece of wire if you wanted. There are various ways of doing this. Next, you go and get the software, and that is very easy to install on the App Mega. You get everything you need to just click a button and load it up to the App Mega. In my case, I then simply, using Node Red, pull in the serial information, which is text, from the board and process it and get it to do various jobs. When you look at that site for the software, you'll see the vast array of RF devices that this software supports. It really is good, and I've been using it night and day for well over a year now. The incoming data comes in the form of serial uh, into USB on, say, a Raspberry Pi, and you can use a, 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 the serial node to then pull in that data. Uh, it needs stripping of carriage returns and some other simple processing. That's done in a node, which you see just to the right of that serial node. And in fact, all I do is store the data into a global array. Uh, after splitting it up, the uh, information uses semicolons to separate uh, the different arguments like temperature, humidity, etc. And then within that equals to separate the value from the whatever the thing is. So if it's temperature, it'll say temp equals 45. So I split on equals and then I have a symbol switch table to store the information away. Of course, you might have a completely different way you want to do this, but trust me, the information comes out very simply. And the point of the software is that the uh, RF link software and hardware combination supports a wide range of 433 devices. I haven't seen anything, including ESP8266 software, that comes even close to this. The software is free, the boards are reasonably priced, so all in all, it makes a, a rather interesting project. And so you see here, and apologies for the fringing effect there, uh, serial data coming from one particular device, which I'll show you in a minute, which is actually an emulator. It has a, an ID of 5A20, and with that ID, I can separate that device out from other devices uh, so that a particular piece of code is only looking at the output from a, a particular device. So you see there the input and processing from where I can separate off separate uh, devices. And to the right, you'll see I've got backdoor status, shed, and lots of others. And at that point, I just have to ha do a simple ID check to pull out the information for a particular device. My doorbell, for example, which is just an RF um, button. What's also really interesting is how easy it is to emulate devices. This here is one of those little £1.50 Arduinos. Um, I've just programmed it up. That's why it's hooked up to an FTDI. And that is talking to a sub £1 433 meg transmitter. There's a little bit of software. I'll give you the link. Uh, is emulating a, a, a device which you saw running earlier there. So you don't just have to use standard weather stations, etc. You can make your own stuff up. Here we have my wife's shed and just outside of my office 
is a weather station, solar power, that's been running for something like 18 months now uh, without being touched. It transmits 433, it's Accurite, transmits to the aerial you're going to see, which I mentioned before, which I have up on the, just give it a second, it'll get there, come on, up, 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 uh, on the roof of the office there, there's the little aerial and that goes back to the um to the rf link board inside my office and hence to a raspberry pi now that aerial is also talking to a range of devices over in the house there. so there it is i hope you found it interesting if so please subscribe there are lots of other videos on this channel and of course if you have a moment have a look at the blog links are provided thanks